The Power Purge Jr. transformed and simplified the refilling process, allowing one person to easily fill and bleed 100% of the air out of our steering systems in 10 minutes or less. The Power Purge Jr. kit comes complete in a handy portable toolbox which is ready to use and easy to set up. Compared to manually purging, the Sea Star Power Purge Jr. is much more effective, cleaner, and less time consuming. In addition to the Power Purge Jr., you will need a funnel to fill the unit, a half inch wrench to open the bleed fittings, and five quarts of Sea Star steering fluid to fill the tank. We only recommend the use of Sea Star steering fluid in our systems. Inside the Power Purge contains blue helm hoses clear cylinder lines, helm adapter, and battery connection. Before using the power purge, remove cap. Place the funnel and fill the reservoir with Sea Star steering fluid. Remove the funnel and reinstall the fill cap. The first thing we are going to do is remove the bleed nipple covers and attach the cylinder bleed lines. Next, loosen each bleeder nipple with a half inch wrench at least two turns. Check the quick connects on the bleed lines and confirm they are secure. Now install the helm adapter into the helm by removing the filler cap and installing the helm adapter. If using a front mount helm pump, simply remove the filler cap and install the helm adapter. After that, take the blue helm hoses and install them into the helm adapter. Connect the smaller hose first, then the larger hose. Once connected, confirm they are secure. Next, make the battery connection and make sure the area is free of any fumes that may be there. The power purge is now hooked up, secured, tight, and ready to use. Turn the unit on and let the power purge fill the helm itself. As it fills, it's going to return air and fluid to the tank. Once no more air is coming out of the blue line, start turning the steering wheel. Turn the wheel at a medium pace, not too fast or too slow, and keep turning until no more air is seen returning to the tank from the cylinder. Start in whatever direction, but do both directions throughout this purge. While the power purge is still running, the last thing to do is grab the engine and turn it side to side. Ensure to move full stroke to bottom out. This will get any of the remaining air bubbles out. Once no more air is visible in the clear cylinder lines, simply turn off the power purge. Currently, the system is free of air. Disconnect the helm lines and turn the wheel half a turn to lower the oil level a bit. Next, close the bleed nipples by holding the cylinder bleed lines in place while tightening the bleed nipples with a half inch wrench. Once tight, return the cylinder bleed lines to the tank. But don't forget to replace the bleed covers. Remove the helm adapter and check fluid levels. Fluid must be at least half inch below the bottom threads, then replace the filler cap. And when setting the fluid level on a front mount helm, set the level to at least half inch below the bottom thread of the filler port, allowing the fluid room to expand. Remember to replace the filler cap and hand tighten. The last thing to do is a quick easy air check back at the engine. Shake the engine back and forth, watching the steering cylinder body move. If the cylinder moves more than an eighth inch each way or a quarter inch total, repeat the bleeding process. The last step is to disconnect the battery cables from the battery and return everything to the power purge. In no time at all, this is how to successfully purge all the air out of a Sea Star steering system. For any troubles, questions or assistance, Please give us a call at Technical Support and we will help you.